Alors, euh, je vous souhaite la bienvenue à ce midi international. Euh, comme vous le savez, euh, organisé conjointement par IBIS et le CEP. Et merci beaucoup, le CEP et l'IBIS. Donc, nous sommes en train de manger la pizza, donc c'est offert par euh, nos deux regroupements stratégiques. Alors, comme vous, vous savez que, bon, à l'IBIS, on a normalement trois euh, comités. Donc, euh, il y a la plateforme euh, biologie computationnelle bioinformatique, séquençage et analyse génomique, et puis l'image de moléculaire et microscopie. Mais il y a aussi un comité international qui a été mis en place depuis le 12 avril euh, 2018. Donc, euh, jour pour jour, aujourd'hui c'est le 12 avril. Donc, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter. Euh, deux euh, étudiants stagiaires ici qui nous ont utilisé du Brésil. Nous sommes quand même français ici au Québec parce que le ministère des Relations internationales et francophonie offre un support aux chercheurs québécois qui veulent développer des relations internationales avec d'autres pays. Donc, euh, moi, entre 2015 et 2016, j'ai eu un financement, un financement de 10 dollars. Euh, qui m'a permis donc euh, d'avancer cette collaboration-là avec le Brésil. Donc, euh, il y a un programme de coopération bilatérale qui existe entre le Québec et le Brésil. Il y en a un autre, par exemple, entre le Québec et le Chili, le Québec et la Wallonie, le Québec et le Vietnam. Donc, euh, j'invite euh, mes collègues professeurs qui sont intéressés à faire de l'international, qui effectivement, il y a l'argent que le gouvernement québécois offre aux chercheurs québécois pour réseauter et essayer de créer donc de collaboration avec euh, le pays dont je viens de vous parler. Donc, moi, je me suis rendu au Brésil entre 2015 et 2016 pour, euh, dans trois états, j'ai été dans les têtes de Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo et Minas Gerais. Et c'est comme cela que j'ai rencontré le collaborateur ici, que voici, et les deux étudiants qui vont nous devoir nous présenter donc euh, euh, leur projet de thèse qu'elles ont avancé dans leur laboratoire, mais qu'elles ont venu compléter ici. Alors, euh, euh, la première étudiante, euh, c'est Isabelle, qui nous vient de l'Université fédérale de Vistosa, en Minas Gerais, qui travaille avec euh, euh, Katrina Kassoua, que vous connaissez bien. Donc, euh, vous vous souvenez peut-être en 2015, il y a un grand désastre écologique avec euh, un barrage qui a cédé. Finalement, des coups toxiques se sont répandus. Il y avait plusieurs morts. Et... Enfin, donc, ça a affecté vraiment la biodiversité de, 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 de cet endroit-là, Mariana. Et Isabelle va nous parler un peu de ce projet. Et, et en quoi donc euh, la réhabilitation plutôt peut aider à reverdir un peu, à remettre la végétation sur ces, 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 ces endroits-là qui ont été affectés par nous. Le, le, le toxique. Donc, euh, la présentation d'Isabelle est bien illustrée ici euh, à, à l'écran. Donc, je vais euh, passer la parole. Elle est boursière euh, de CAPES, qui est une organisation donc, brésilienne, fédérale brésilienne, qui donne de bonnes bourses pour permettre aux Brésiliens de venir faire leur stage à l'extérieur. Donc, euh, je vous laisse la parole, Isabelle, de vous parler un peu de votre projet de doctorat Merci. à l'Université fédérale de Bissosa. Merci. Merci. Bonjour, euh, je m'appelle Isabelle, je suis brésilienne. Euh, ma, ville, ma ville natale, c'est Itaúna, euh, dans la province de Minas Gerais. Je suis biologiste, j'ai fait ma maîtrise en microbiologie. J'ai fait mon doctorat en microbiologie agricole euh, à l'Université fédérale de Viçosa. 
Et ici, j'ai en train de faire un année d'échange à l'Université Laval. Euh, ma ligne de recherche avec euh, champion mycorhizien arbuscolaire. Et mon domaine d'études, c'est dans les zones contaminées pour l'exploitation des minières de, de fer. Et ici, je vais travailler con, avec euh, un bio informatique de séquençage génome des échantillons de sol. Et je suis débutant en français et je vais faire ma présentation en anglais. Et je suis très heureuse de présenter mon projet de recherche. Et, euh, merci beaucoup pour la compréhension et pour votre présence. So the title of uh, the theme of my research project is diversity of arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi and selection of microorganisms that favor the vegetation recovery in areas affected by the collapse of the fundum dam. My advisor in Brazil at University Universidade Federal de Viçosa is Maria Catarina Legumi Casuia, and here Universidade Laval da Masicas. And this, it, uh, this exchange is a good opportunity to increase our knowledge for this research field. And uh, why we choose? Uh, why did we choose this research project? This theme. I firstly, uh, my in Brazil is important. Uh, has a big importance in the economy of our country. And the dam collapse. Uh, two, three years ago, we have a problem with a dam collapse in Minas Gerais and uh, result in main impacts of environmental impacts and it's necessary to study these conditions for improve the ecological restoration and one strategy is the, the phyto, phytobial remediation that involves all the soil biodiversity and plant studies and all the ecosystem studies including the meat microbiota in this research and uh, the iron mine in Brazil, it's a uh, very important economic activity since the discovery and the colonization of our country. And contributes, this activity contributes for about 5% of the national GDP. And uh, we have two important states in Brazil that contributes with, uh, with uh, the iron oil exported from Brazil, that's in Gerais, about 50% and Pará, about 30%. So, Minas Gerais is an important mining state in Brazil, and uh, a curiosity it's about the name of Mineiro. The orange of this name is because uh, when, uh, years ago, when the people arrived at Minas Gerais, they asked, what do you do? And all the people said, uh, I work in mining, so I'm Mineiro. But now, all the people that live, live in Minas is Mineiro, like me, just swim in there. <laughs> and um, the iron ore mining in nature is associated with rocks mixed or other elements. And to improve the concentration in the final product, product of this iron, it's necessary main industrial process. And this industrial process Generate, uh, have a consequence for the generation of the iron oil mine waste that is stored in dams. An example of dam in Minas Gerais is the Fundão Dam, here, uh, close to Belo Horizonte, in Bento Rodri uh, Mariana, Bento Rodrigues, and uh, it's better to see here. It's really close to Belo Horizonte. And uh, the responsible for the extraction and the process of this, uh, uh, this, this extraction of iron ore is a company Sama. And uh, we, in the end of the 2050 year, we have a problem with collapse of this dam. And this episode uh, was characterized like the, as the highest environmental disaster in Brazilian history, involving mining, mining activity. Here it's a picture after one week, one week after the disaster. And uh, after the disaster, we have uh, a farm, 40 billion liters of iron ore mine waste were 
release it on the environment. And uh, this mud uh, was colored like a mud tsunami and reached uh, 650 kilometers and reached the river Rio Doce and uh, uh, reached the other state, not only Minas Gerais, but uh, Espírito Santo too. And uh, in another way, we have a trail of destruction, contamination, and deaths. Here, we visit the place after the disaster, and uh, this is pictures for our research group. And uh, the patrimony uh, destroyed. And here, I I call your attention for the uh, it's the mud, the height that the mud reached. And uh, it's necessary to explain that it's not uh, uh, down this place we have a matter of uh, dam. It's not uh, not site here. We have a uh, Boku de Mud down. And the impacts and uh, uh, consequence of this disaster uh, we have uh, have metals, uh, reduction of I uh, oxygen levels in water, decrease in of soil fertility. Change the course of the river, destroy the uh, hills. They need to make other cars. Deforestation and cessation, loss of patrimony, historical and religious, death of mining workers and citizens, and like uh, uh, um, 19 deaths. Uh, displacement and disruption of species, <coughs> destruction for pasture, Atlantic forests, and agricultural areas. And uh, we lost uh, the diversity of aquatic and terrestrial biota. After the, uh, this impact, the, this dam uh, rupture, the company responsible for the, the dam, Fundon Dam, starts with some uh, projects to mitigate uh, this disaster with uh, mitigating measures involving ecological restoration process. Uh, and one strategy that they adopted was the phytobial uh, remediation that was characterized by low maintenance costs. Uh, its response uh, can act uh, structurally in an aggregation of the soil, uh, can increase the fertility, and with this phytobial remediation, we have association between isospheric microorganisms and plants. And I call attention for the Arbustola mycorrhizal fungal, I'm not that works together in this in the soil. Uh, among the beneficial microorganisms associated with plant roots, we have uh, uh, IMF, and they, it has been well documented with positive role on several disturbed soils, like uh, disturbed by impact of mining tea. And uh, uh, this mycorrhizal fungi is the most predominant and ancestor of all the seven types of mycorrhizal directives. And they, they can act like a biofertilizer, bioregulator, and bioprotector of the soil. And uh, the strategy, the biotechnology strategy we use in IMF, can be a potential mechanism to improve the restoration, like a IMF can open to use in these areas. Uh, in relation with a uh, plant, in symbiosis with the plant. And here it's only to show the interaction between the IMF and the plant. This microorganism can reduce the trace elements translocation for the plant, uh, the plant. can reduce reduction the stress levels, uh, improvement the acquisition, uh, acquisition and water and nutrients for the plant increase tolerance to excess, uh, excess of uh, trace elements, and uh, increase soil organ matter, and reduction of erosion and initiation. So it's uh, many types of uh, things that the, the IMF can do to improve the growth of the plant and the resistance in this type of soil, contaminated soil. The objective of my research is to evaluate and compare the fungal community structure, structure in iron oil mine waste and area not affected over time, like a job in a chrono settings. To screen plant and microbial, especially our muscular mycorrhizal fungi, genotypes, 
that favor the progress of revegetation to accelerate the ecosystem restoration. Uh, we start our soil sampling after the disaster. We have a sampling on rainy and dry season, March and September. In 20, 2016, 2017, 2018, and now we have a collection in March on 2018. And we, at, in the area, we choose uh, recovery areas. We have a pasture contaminated, a pasture without contamination, without the iron or mine waste, and a forest to compare these areas and the different time. Here, Barragem do Fundão. And here, Paracatu de Baixo, it's a, down, a city more down, and that was really affected by the earth. Uh, here, our research group in one uh, this, the sampling. It's necessary many people because the job is so <laughs> difficult. And the first part of my research, my analysis, it was conducted uh, in Brazil. And uh, we have the analysis of chemical properties of the soil. Uh, we study the occurrence and richness of uh, Arbuscula mycorrhizal fungi with uh, counting spore, colonization, and uh, we make um, uh, electrophoresis and PCR and electrophoresis to see the community profile of this type of fungi. And in Canada, it's the second part of my job. Uh, I will study the data sequence of the total DNA extraction for the soil. We are using the sequence on Illumina in mid sec platform and we, to analyze and perform, we will use the time that's an open source informatic pipeline to make the analysis. And uh, I have I had my information here in IBS, uh, the model pipeline model, and we, you, we use the model pipeline and the BMP, it's Brazilian Microbiome Project, to analyze all the research, uh, all the data from the same sequence. And uh, we use UPARS method and UNITE database to cluster in Oteu our same, our, our material. And uh, other, for other strategies using microbiome analysis to, uh, to make our analysis like uh, community profile, the taxonomy, diversity indices, beta, alpha, uh, principal coordinate analysis, high reflection curves and color occurrence, the abundance, and comparative analysis. Uh, in, in all the, the analysis, we will use the area and the different types <coughs> to cross this information. And we have uh, some data, but it's not so concluded until this moment. And here I only show uh, uh, some tests that we progress in Brazil with na uh, plants, two types of plants, Cassia grandes and Sanama Cantera. The popular name is uh, Cassia e Fedegoso. It's a plant that we have interest in revegetation in the area. And uh, we start, uh, here is the seeds and the sandbox. We start with, uh, without micro my, uh, analysis, microorganisms associated with these plants. We have many tests before to introduce these experiments. We have counting spores, mycorrhizal uh, colonization. And here in tubs, the both uh, plants. And uh, we have the selection of uh, the type that uh, inoculum that we are using to analyze the, the growth of the plant, all the parameters. And uh, after, we put this plant in a reject, uh, poor. The iron ore mine waste, but, uh, totally without uh, other other treatment. And now here I have a doctorate travail de mia about the informatics. And uh, my perspectives with this job it's cross information between soil chemical conditions, fungal diversity, and uh, IMF community. 
to propose formulation of inoculants, inoculants should be recommended in revegetation process. Uh, production of high quality mycorrhizal seedlings for outplant into the affected areas. Not only in Paracatu de but uh, can be used in all the places that was infected. And to contribute for the training of highly qualified personnel in microbial biotechnology and its application on restoration of severely disturbed ecosystem. So, obrigada, thank you, Messi Boku, for voting for presence. I am here about FEV. Uh, here it's my university. The, the entrance of our university have these we call quatro pilastras for and uh, have this this uh, in Latin. Study no back wind. And it's located close to Belo Horizonte, I think that 230 kilometers to Belo Horizonte. And uh, in, in Minas Gerais, we have three campus. Uh, campus de Sosa is the biggest and the principal, the center. Uh, campus Rio Paranaíba, Campus Florestal. It's in different cities, but it's possible to cross the information between, uh, easily it's possible to cross the information. And here it's the place, uh, the biggest uh, campus de Sosa, in de Sosa, and uh, where I have my studies and where Damasi visit us. And uh, I live in Vissosa have five years and uh, I, I learned to love the city and our university is so beautiful. <laughs> and we are missing the Doce de Leite. Uh, this is the champion for, for Brazil, the best Doce de Leite. And uh, I really want to bring to, to you, but it uh, have a uh, runs to import that difficult this process. But if you have the chance to taste, yeah, good. It's very, very good. <laughs> Obrigada. If I know a uh, species? Yeah, if you know species, you know, that have already been identified with uh, yeah. good electric for reclamation. Yeah, we, with uh, the strategies uh, like uh, taxonomy for mycorrhiza and uh, spore counting, we make uh, some uh, analysis of taxonomy and we have some species that it's more resistant for, for this area, this type of a, area. And so it's a possible mi microorganism that we put in our inoculum to, to improve the, the growth of the plant. Because we test inoculum, different types of inoculum. And we, after this, we analyze what species the plant, uh, survive in this condition with the iron or mine waste poor. Because uh, it, if we put only a plant there, we cannot not have this control uh, like in greenhouse. And uh, the sequence uh, of the total fungi, it's, only, it's to see the other species, not only mycorrhiza, that's possible to appear in, in this type of uh, substrate and have the potential to help the plant to grow. So we have, we have the some species that potential for the novel. Oui, Christine, oui. Hi, thanks for your presentation. So are you thinking 
thing I'm looking at the bacterial communities as well in your uh, sample, because you're, you've been talking a lot about the fungi, but then yeah. I guess they could play a role in supporting plant growth, but also contributing to uh, the soil health. So. Yeah, uh, our research group is so big, this project is very big, and my part is to fungi. Okay. Uh, but we have uh, the group of bacteria, and uh, we have the group of actinobacteria. Ah. actinobacteria. So, um, our idea is each one do the first part, but after we will work together, because it's not only a fungi, it's not only a bacteria, actinobacteria, and here we have a sedony that uh, have the opportunity to work with us, and I think that we work uh, with some type of bacteria, and uh, we have other projects involving bacteria and actinobacteria too. Uh, actinobacteria, actinobacteria. Another question? Oui. Thank you, Isabel, for your presentation. Uh, another question about the dam. I'm not very familiar with it, but is it like a dam for energy production or just? No, no, no. It's only to put the reject. The this this type of uh, iron ore mine waste in theory you don't have a, a high concentration of uh, heavy metals. It's only for the process of the extraction of the iron, the iron for the rocks, it's only this material. So it's a, a big portion of water with uh, 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 sand, uh, with other products. But this, it's not really big problem. But when the mud, when the mud tsunami are uh, across our state, our state, mm -hmm. the, the, all the places, we have other things in the middle that the mud carry. And uh, like uh, works with uh, mercurial, how can I say? Mercur mercur and have this type of product. But it's not from the iron ore industry, but it's the things that the mud carry. But in the dam, there is like some toxic heavy metal to say. Not toxic, but have a high concentration of iron, and this high concentration in the soil can be the, uh, a dam, uh, can be toxic for the plant. But it's not a arsen or other things have metals like this. But in the soil can be a contamination for the plant in high concentration. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for your talk. I'm just following up with, uh, with Anthony. Um, uh, regarding the iron, is it bound in pyrite or how is it? The iron? Yes. Yeah, is it in pyrite or is it in another uh, crystal? Is it another mineral? Or oh, the material? Yes. Uh, the, the, in, this, in this mud, this iron mine waste, we have a high, con a high p pH. Because I have uh, the process of the extraction of the the iron, they use uh, I forgot the the name of the product they use and the pH uh, became so high. So for the soil, for the fungal community, high pH it's not uh, good. My question is, what kind of mine is it? I mean, iron, but the iron is bound how originally before the. Is it pure or is it with, with sulfur, or does it become? Yeah, I have some aminas, but the iron it's the biggest problem. Okay. No, no, not other products. We have a group that have some works with heavy metals, but they didn't find in the plant when the plant grow the these metals in the plant and in the soil. No, only the iron. Or yeah, so for um, yeah, have a, have a pro have a high concentration of these elements, but um, 
It's not like a, 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 a really contaminant for the soil. It's a contaminant because it's a high concentration. When we made the analysis of the soil, we find this, but we didn't find other contaminants, like uh, uh, shum, shumbu, I don't know in, in French, shumbu. Contaminants, heavy metals, other heavy metals in the, in the analysis of chem, chemical analysis of the soil. Coming back to Louis Bernier's question, is your project the first reclamation project in your state or have been in other? No, no, have other, have other, because we, but not with uh, direct mud, direct iron or mine waste, no. But have projects with uh, the area that have a, a mining, mining area, and they are recovering this area. But with uh, covered for the mud, no. But now we have uh, Brumadinho too. We have uh, this area and now Brumadinho, the area of Brumadinho. Yeah, I don't know about any other questions. We will pass to the second presentation. Ah, yes, we will jump straight. Yes. Because you will remember from Brumadinho and I started. Your group is going to do something with Brumadinho too or not? I, when have this problem? I'm, I was here in January, but yeah, uh, Renova, the company I think that works together, works together our group, research group, and they divide the attention to Mariana and Brumadinho. Bien, merci beaucoup, uh, Isabelle. Encore une fois. Oui,